Hey guys, this is Navinia. Welcome back to Navin Automation Labs. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to handle frames with selenide. So here we can take this example. This is something really interesting example that we can take it. And uh, what we can do is, let's see, slightly scroll down and there are multiple frames are available on this page. For example, let's see, there is a, this is a frame, but how will you get to know that's a frame? This is a sample dummy application, the template application for the iframe and see you can click on menu you can click on the search you can enter something over here for example let's say if i'm entering testing and then click on search the search will happen in this particular field i mean in this particular area only so if you refresh this page once again for example and then you slightly scroll it down and then you right click on it and go to inspect and what you do is that you just inspect let's say i want to click on this particular search icon and uh, if you uh, see it over here it's written with the img tag here okay and then you slightly scroll it up you just keep scrolling up here you will see one iframe is uh, displayed so if you create a, an xpath or locator with this img and then you try to click on it it will not work so let's see i'll do one thing this img i'll try to click on it and uh, when you click on it then we will try to enter something over here so, but before that let's click on it and let's see are we able to click on it so this is my alt attribute is available so i can quickly create an xpath here that this is my ing tag and uh, i can write alt is equal to uh, search okay so this alt equal to search we will try to click on it so let me just come here and uh, i'll do one thing dollar and uh, this is my xpath that i'm going to create so by dot xpath that i'll be using and then let's try to click on it so i'll be clicking on it and remember one thing when you create the xpath right so it's giving you one of four it means there are four image attributes or search attributes are available see this is a second one somewhere then uh, over here as well and then the fourth one somewhere over here okay but we have to go to the third one so what i'll do that i'll simply put everything in a capture group and then i'll go on the basis of indexing for example let's see third index or i can do one thing that uh, okay let's go with the third index because we want to click on this particular one okay so i'll just do one thing instead of this otherwise what will happen if you don't write position right index one two three or something like this it will try to click on the first one it will try to click on this particular search icon that i don't want okay so let's do that and let's see are we able to click on it or not so run as test ng and it's launching the application and then you see this uh, i'll just manually scroll it over here and then see it's not doing anything and it's not uh, giving you any exception also immediately so it's gonna wait and then after wait it's giving you the exception on the console see this carefully that no such element exception and then you are totally confused that why we are able to not able to uh, inspect or interact with this element because xpath and everything is correct over here so the problem with this that this search three is actually available in the iframe so what we have to do we have to switch our driver to the iframe it means we have to uh, come over here okay guys so let me just inspect the search icon once again this imd is available under this particular iframe and iframe is always remember see iframe tag is available iframe and sometimes you will see frame also so with iframe you will see this hash document it means this iframe is having its own html dom structure you can see it's having its own html having head body and then their number of elements are available over here so what happens when you first time launch the application right with the help of url the browser will be launched and the page will be launched in that case the driver is available on the page not inside the iframe so what you have to do you have to switch your driver from here to here it means from page to the frame it means you have to go inside the frame that's why iframe we have to interact so let's see how to do that so same method that we have to use before uh, clicking on it so we will write switch to dot a uh, frame so there is our three methods are available you can see this is overloaded method frame by index name id or web element also you can create that so let's say i'm going to use the web element part over here and here it's saying okay fine that uh, do you have see name equal to frame i can see that okay so i can create one iframe name equal to frame but there are other frames also other iframes also having the same name so that's why i'm not using frame directly name over here otherwise what will happen it will switch to the uh, first frame 
right? Because there are multiple frames are available having the same frame name like this. So what we have to do, we have to go to the specific frame. So first I'll check, okay, fine. I'll try to create an X path over here for the iframe as well. So let's see, this is my iframe. And then I'm going to write name is equal to this. Here you can see, see one of two element. It means two iframes are available having the same name. This is my first iframe somewhere over here. See this, this image is also available in the iframe, but we don't need to go to this particular section. We have to go to the second one. It means we have to come over here. And here you can see name equal to I, uh, frame name is available, but I can see class equal to frame sample and frame sample two I can use it. So I can take one more at the rate class attribute uh, where I can use, uh, you know, uh, these classes. For example, let me just inspect that guy once again. Okay, so this frame, I'm going to take it. So class equal to this one. So I'll say, okay, fine, where class equal to these. So it's giving you the specific one of one element. It means now it is pointing to this particular iframe, this X path. So I'm going to use this X path. And then it's saying that, see this frame method, this frame method, I'll show you once again, a dot a frame. And I'm going to use that. Okay. No, I don't want to pass the index. You can pass index one or two, zero and one also that also I will pass, but it's always risky because what will happen that if you're passing, let's see a uh, one, what if uh, developers they have added some more uh, frames so in that case the index will be changed name or id also can be same of course name can be same but id will be different but here we don't have any id of the iframe so that's why i'm going to use a third one that okay fine i'm going to create the web element with the help of some locator which locator frame is also a frame element means a web element so i'm going to use the dollar method once again like this and then i'm saying okay fine by dot x path and this is my x path of iframe and then you have to switch to this particular frame. So when you switch to this frame, then you have to click on it right now. I'm this inside this frame Then I just simply want to do what I just want to click on this particular IMG. Now here in this particular iframe, I don't have multiple IMG tags are available. See, now the control is available in this particular iframe. So I can simply come over here and then create the export of IMG and click on it. So I don't need to maintain any index over here as well. So just remove this guy. I don't want to maintain this image. I mean image index because we have only one image available in this iframe. Now let's see it is working or not. So we'll run as test and let's see it is clicking on that particular image icon or not. So let's see. So slightly scroll it down and then let's see if you click on it one text field should be appeared. See, okay. See, it's working fine. I'll do one thing just for just to show you guys i'll just put a five seconds of wait also otherwise what will happen it will just immediately closing the browser okay and run as a test ng once again okay so let's go down here let's see it will it is click, uh, clicking on the search icon or not see it is clicking on search icon and that the search field is appeared so of course right so this is absolutely working fine so now we are not getting any error because in between we have switched to this particular frame so remember guys inside the frame there are web elements that you have to interact if you really want to interact you have to switch to this frame and then you have to keep checking okay yeah which frame this is the i frame and then you have to either you use index by name or id but again with name you can see that uh, this name can be used for other frames also so in that case i cannot use this name so better to create the web element for the i frame in this case in this example and then you switch to this particular frame then let's say I want to click on, uh, I want to enter something over here. So here you can see input type equal to text return here like this. Okay. So um, I can create one simple input type equal to text name equal to terms. Also, I can use it. Okay. So I'll do one thing. Let's see that uh, I come here a dollar and then I can use this uh, by dot. Let's see X path that I'm going to use directly over here. And let me create one X path for input name equal to terms because mighty possible name equal to terms is being used by some other text field as well so i'll simply say okay fine this is my input where at the rate name is equal to terms. see there are four elements are available right guys so that's why i don't want to use this one so i'll see one thing that okay fine input name equal to terms uh, is it pointing to this one or not okay no it is not pointing yeah it is pointing to this one actually right so what we can do is that it's a fourth element here you can see okay fourth of four so i can just take this one and uh, use it over here and then capture 
in a group and then provide the index over here like this let's see go to the fourth one and then i'm going to use that ascend keys method let's see i'm going to pass testing here okay and then again i'm going to use this a uh, dollar by dot xpath or uh, let's say i want to click on the search button now after entering something so let's see click on search and here you can see name is equal to submit button so i can directly use by dot name here for example by dot name let's see if the script is working fine or not and then i just simply write dot click here just click on it okay so run as test ng let's see it is working or not so i'll slightly scroll it down it should click on this search okay and let's see it is entering testing or not see it is not able to enter testing okay see in this case it is it means the problem with my xpath only see it's saying element not found by using this particular xpath over here so i'll do one thing might be possible that in this case let me search it again input type equal to text name equal to terms that we are using maybe it's available somewhere over here in the same iframe or not okay see here you can see type equal to text name equal to terms so here i can see that okay yeah this is the first index and then this is the a second index actually right so we have to use after coming in this particular iframe we have to use instead of a fourth index we have to use second index over here okay then let's see it is working or not let's try it again so deliberately i'm doing these uh, you know wrong x path so that you will understand the basic locator strategies also that how to pick the right locator right x path and everything so see it now it should click on the search icon testing got entered clicking on searching and the results are getting appeared over here like that perfect so this script is absolutely working fine and here you can see on the console also there are uh, no errors on the console it's absolutely working past perfect now what do you want after that after that there is one more thing for example let's see i want to capture the this particular text now this text this title text i want to capture which is not available inside this frame and the last time what we have done the last time we have seen that okay hey driver please switch to this particular frame it means where exactly the current position of the driver the current position of the driver is available inside this frame but this sample website is available outside of this frame so again we have to come back right guys we have to come back to the main content so what we have to do here here is a method that we have to write remember this thing switch to dot default content you have to write so if you see the description of the default content it's saying select either the first frame on the page or the main document when a page contains iframe it means please go to the either you for, go to the first frame of the page but we don't have any first frame on the page like this so it will what exactly it will do or the main document when a page contains iframe it means right click on it let's see i'll show you so right now we we are here in this particular iframe right so come out of this particular iframe and go to the main content of the application of this particular page so i'll do one thing okay fine i'll just simple write uh, default content over here and then i'm gonna use this particular sample website uh, and i frame this here you can see that i can simply use span and i can use a text function over here so i can write okay fine there is a span i can create an xpath over here span text is equal to this it's giving you one of one and let's see it is working or not and i'll do one thing let me just comment it out let's do one thing here let's prove it that okay hey it should not work if i'm not coming back to the main window so i'll simply write dollar and i'm going to write by dot xpath and then this is my xpath and then what do you want i want get text over here you capture the text store in a string variable let's see a uh, string text is equal to this and then after that you just need to print it on the console system dot or print ln text see i'm see the flow done properly this is my web page and then switch to the frame click on the search button icon or whatever enter testing click on button done and after that i'm trying to capture the text from this element without coming back to the main content over here because right now the driver is still available inside this frame perform these two actions on these two buttons and elements and then after that we have to come back but i'm not deliberately i'm not coming back that's why i'm just i have just commented this line and let's see this is getting the text or not and then after that <coughs> we will try to use the default content we will coming we will come back and then we will see it is really working or not but in this case ideally it should not work so let's see i'll just scroll it down 
okay let it complete first <coughs> click on search icon testing searching perfect and then after that see it's still not giving you any error immediately after some time it will give you error and you can see the console here that okay hey element not found with this xpath then again you are confused that okay why it is not working it's giving you no such element exception unable to locate this xpath selector span text is equal to this what is the problem the problem here is that your driver is still available inside this frame and this element that you are trying to capture the text from this element this is not available inside the frame so you have to come it come back so in this case we have to use drive uh, switch to dot a default content you have to use so it means once your work is done on the iframe then again back to the parent window or back to the main content and then after that you try to capture this particular text and then print it on the console so let's see this time it should work let's see so run as testng and uh, browser is launched I'll just slightly scroll it down and see this carefully. Okay, testing, searching, and awesome. See, this time it's not giving you any error. And then you can see it's saying printing on the console sample website and iframe page. Exactly same thing. Sample website and iframe page. Got it. So remember this method also default content. So once your frame iframe work is done, you have to come back. Okay, remember this thing. <clears throat> so that's all for this particular video. I hope it's uh, clear now. You guys exactly do the same thing with the uh, uh, switch to frame. If someone is asking at a time of interview that uh, switch to dot frame, same method in Selenium also we have, same method in Selenite also. You can pass the index by 0, 1, 2 or something like this. If you want, I can show you. Okay, or you can just practice by your own or you can pass the name or ID. Make sure name or ID should be unique for that particular frame. Then only you can switch otherwise it will switch the respective name or id that you have given okay index i will never prefer why because you never know that some more uh, frames got introduced on the page then the index of the frame will be disturbed in that case so better to avoid that i hope it's clear now thank you so much that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all